Hello YouTube, this is Fanny Squad here, and uh, I hope everyone's doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the new armor that came out for your lord. Um, I believe the armor is called Isolt Armor. Um, it's level 6 lord equipment. I decided to buy the purple one for $20. Um, it works pretty damn good. The orange one is twice as good though, but it was $100. <laughs> Didn't want to drop that much money. So if we look into the packs that you can buy. So there we go. $99 you get the orange set. And if you go down. Doo, 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 you get the blue set for $5 only. And then the purple set was for 20 bucks. The blue set is absolute garbage. I mean it, it helps. It's a pretty good investment if you're going to spend just 5 bucks, But I wouldn't recommend going that route. I would go for either purple or orange. Depending on how much you want to spend. But um, so let's take a look at this gear. So it when you buy the pack, it gives you all six pieces, and they're already forged, so you don't even have to forge it or nothing. You get you get the gear straight up. And so if you look at the hat, um, it gives you minus two and a half percent for construction wood, minus five hundred thousand for wood, minus two hundred thousand for iron requirements. Now, when I look at that, I look, that's quite a lot, um, just for one piece. Uh, the minus 2.5%, that seems pretty little, but when you're talking about upgrades that are millions and millions and millions of resources, that's a really big deal. Um, I mean, 2%, if you're talking about a million, 2% is 20,000 resources per million. <laughs> And that's just a hat. So we look at the, the the gown. Yeah. Minus a million for food. That's awesome. Uh, a lot of these have silver and iron, which are just huge because silver and iron are so hard to gather. Here's the bow. Minus 100,000 silver. And the legs. Minus 100%. Or minus a hundred thousand silver requirements, like that shit adds up really fucking fast. And if you get the orange gear, it's actually twice as good as the purple, so everything is doubled. So now that I have it equipped, let's actually take a look at how this how this actually plays in. So right here we got a twenty eight farm. If I go to upgrade it when I have the armor equipped. I literally have to pay no resources at all for 29 farm. And if we come over here to my 28 silver mine, if I upgrade that, same thing. 29 silver mine requires no no resources whatsoever. It'll take me three days to build, so you still have to build timers, but you don't have to pay anything to build it, which is phenomenal. <laughs> And then we got um, our military camps. So if I want to build a 20, level 23 military camp, it'll only cost me 114,000 iron and zero silver and zero wood. That's amazing because if I go to my normal gear without these buffs on and I go to the same military camp right here, it'll cost me 752,000 iron. 119,000 silver and 683,000 wood. I'll take free over that any day. And this is every upgrade it applies to. It's just insane. I can't believe. I can't believe how it's it's only $20 to get the to get the purple one. And you get this much effect about it. So then if you go over to bigger stuff, uh let's see here, 22 wishing well. 91,000 iron, that's all it's going to cost me. Um, my embassy, if I want to get that to 28, it's 5 million iron, 2.7 million silver, 8 million wood. If I go back and take the armor off, we're looking at 6 million iron, 3 million silver, and 10 million wood. So it doesn't cover everything, but it... it it puts a huge discount. It saves a lot of time to gather stuff. I I definitely suggest buying at least purple 
if you can. Um, so when I go to my stronghold, these are the requirements for it with the gear on. 22 million iron, 11 million silver, which are the big ones. I take it off. Now we're at 24 million iron and 12 million silver. And we were at 192 million food when we have the armor on, and now we're at 206. So it takes a huge drawback on your food. And that would be really nice for when I'm trying to go for my my barracks and my troop buildings. It takes a lot of food, so if I can take off like 10 million food every time I upgrade one of my troop buildings, that's going to save me tons of time, tons of food. Pretty great stuff. The only thing I don't like about this armor, though, is uh, you can't have your research equipment. So, like, let's say I want these boots. I want to wear my... My research speed gives me 14% instead of this. If I want to save time on the building time, I'm going to have to replace it like that. And then I'll lose out on 100,000 silver and 500,000 wood plus the 2.5%. Which, if I'm going for a really, really big upgrade like my stronghold, I'm definitely going to put my, my, research, or my construction speed equipment on over the requirement reduction things. Because I just want to get that done fast and quick. Because it saves a lot of time. That 14%, you have no idea how much time that will save on a stronghold upgrade once you get past like level 25. That's the only thing I don't really like about the armor, but it is what it is. Um, if you have if you have the new gear that uh, just got bought, or that just came out... You can pretty much build to 19 stronghold without using any resources or very little resources. You just have to wait for the build time. So if you want to start out into a new kingdom, you can just buy the orange gear. Get to, You can get to 20 stronghold with like no resources. It just buy speed ups and you'll be 20 stronghold in like a day. Not even. It's, it's just crazy. Um, I just thought I wanted to make this video for you guys because I know there's a lot of questions about it and uh wanted you guys to actually see what it does like you can read the stats and see what it does but to actually physically see that all these buildings are completely free of charge is another thing so I wanted you guys to see that side before you purchase this pack kind of get an idea of what you're buying and then um yeah I don't know, I highly advise paying the $20 because I think this is the best $20 pack you could buy right now um, for what it's, for the value. I think it's got the best value. And, well, I think that'll be it for my video, and I'm glad you guys stayed to the end to watch. And uh, you guys have a good day. Thanks.